Honorable Jack Ryan, Secretary General of the World Organization of Scout Movement, the President of the Philippine Parliamentary Association, the Honorable Raul Delmar, the Chairman of the Organizing Committee of the Second General Assembly of the World Parliamentary Union, Honorable Dan Deliban, Honorable Rodolfo Albano, the Majority Floor Leader representing the Lagas and UCD. Honorable Epsel Lagman, representing LA and MP. Our dear friends, scouting, fellow workers in government, the distinguished delegates to the Second World Scout Parliamentary Union, good morning. Second General Assembly of the World Scout Parliamentary Union is certainly the biggest and most significant scout-oriented event to be held in the Philippines since the 10th World January in 1959. I am therefore greatly honored thus to speak before this assembly of parliamentarians and legislators from around the world who have come up through the Boy Scouts and Girl Scout tracks, the living yields of what Lord Baden Powell of Gilwell described as the branches of the Oak of Scouting, which blossomed from the upper of the Scout idea that was in Brown Sea Island. I am very elated to be in the midst of colleagues who are and remain proud to be associated with the Scouting movement and its ideals its objectives, whose decisions as legislators have been greatly influenced by the scout of and law and the activities of scouting. Men and women who as young boys and girls were developed by the scouting movement to be responsive to and respectful of the rights of others. To be citizens of character with high spiritual ideals and motives. We have had the privilege of a childhood fostered under the ageless standards of scouting to do our best in everything, to be always prepared to perform our duty to God and country, to abide by the scout law. The outdoor activities and adventures that scouting provided were perfect training grounds for personal initiative and resourcefulness keenness of perception and alertness in action. A complete countable task, but anyone who truly went through the scouting experience will acknowledge some influence of any or all of these scout virtues and attitudes in decisions they had made not only as youngsters, but also as adults, and in our case, as lawmakers of our respective nations. I therefore feel a compelling duty as a legislator to sustain and nurture the scouting movement and spirit through meaningful legislations towards this end. The scouting movement faces critical challenges at, at this time. Most compelling are those who are posed by drugs and technological advances which have preoccupied our children with virtual realities, virtual toys, vicarious dreams. Many of them are being denied access to an education in life's basics and essentials. Many of our children are being trained by machines and prohibited substances to react when they should think and respond, to watch when they should participate. In this age, it is perhaps only through scouting that a child can get acquainted with nature and life nearest their most pristine, innocent, and mysterious forms. It is the activity that can help more children develop the knowledge, skills, and attitudes that will enable them to be responsible, self-reliant citizens, and help them bridge the gap between their present nonchalance and the responsibilities of the future. Today, in this August Halls of Congress, May I humbly submit that our respective parliaments and congresses and legislative bodies move for the adoption of a seven-point program as their top priority legislative agenda. 
First, to work for the establishment of a comprehensive youth leadership training program and more credible scholarship programs for deserving students, including a cohesive sports program and the introduction of social economic welfare benefits for the marginalized and the disabled. Second, to allocate and uphold the human rights of all citizens. Third, to uphold the protection of the rights of the working men through sustained and vigorous campaign to make them assertive of their basic rights and privileges granted by law. Fourth, to work for programs and projects with general welfare orientation upon prior consultation with and the democratic participation of the people. Fifth, to bring to forth the need for the massive reforestation of the denuded forests all over the country and strict implementation of forest conservation laws aimed at saving our resources. Six, to advocate principled politics based on issues which are service-oriented, truly democratic, and representative of the people's interests. And seven, we must declare an all-out war against drugs. They and other related concerns must therefore be addressed legislatively with urgency, foresight, and utmost importance. This Second General Assembly of the World Scout Parliamentary Union responsive directions. It should provide us the energy and the motivation to confront present challenges and the spirit and inspiration that can sustain our programs. 57 or more countries are represented in this General Assembly, but scouting removes the distinction between and among countries and cultures. Scouting generates the same experiences and values among people all over the world, every time, everywhere. Consequently, the output of this General Assembly has both universal significance. Our task, but we can attain our own kind of civic heroism. Kung nais nating matupad ang pangarap ni Bayaning Rizal, karagdagang katanungan at malawang makalayaan, sundan natin ang kanyang tagubilin, itakwil ang pagkawatakwata, yakapin ang pagkakaisa, at minsan pa'y buhayin natin ang diwa ng bansa. Tulad ng natatanaw ni Rizal, ngayon na ang panahon upang sabihin sa ating sarili na kung nais nating makaahot, kung nais nating umunlad, dapat tayong kumilos sa ating sariling pagsisikap. Sa pagkilos na ito, dapat nating ibuhos ang buong liwanag ng ating kaisipan at lahat ng tibukin ng ating puso. If we are to attain what the Philippine national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal, wished for his posterity, more law and greater liberty, we must do as he prescribed. We must stifle our dissensions and summon once more the spirit which makes your nation as one true nation. As Dr. Serizal foresaw, the time has come to tell ourselves that if we wish to be saved, we must redeem ourselves and in this work of self-redemption, we must expend the whole life of our intellect and all the fervors of our hearts. My dear friends, let us disprove the notion that our much founded patriotism dies with martyrdom. As can be proven by this General Assembly, the spirit of unity shall drive us to the heights of greatness and nobleness. As the Assembly's theme states, hear the youth and hear the future. Let this be the clarion call for parliamentarians to relieve the essence of greatness that makes for heroes. No, it does not call upon us to lay down our lives for country. Rather, in these times of peace, the call is for the devotion of our time, talent, and energy in the service of community and country. This is Scouting Way. Of late, there has been a marked diminution in youth interest in governmental affairs. In recent years, 
the young have been tempted by poverty, lack of education, drugs, and widespread official corruption into complacency and indifference. The attraction for service for country was somehow lost in the face of prevalent individual materialism. Many of our peers have gone the way of the casual world with little or no tendency for active nationalism. It is about time that the zeal and vigor of nationalism be resuscitated. We should never allow the potential force of the nation's youth to go astray through sheer non-use. Of course, for all these involvements that we now ask of you, our dear parliamentarians, we promise you no riches, we promise you no fame. All we can promise is a better future, a better place to live in, a place in the minds and hearts of your people. When a Boy Scout says, on my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God, my country, to help other people at all times, to obey the Scout law, keeping myself physically fit, mental alert, and morally upright. The Scout keeps in thought, in word and in deed, a saying which goes, when we are good to others, we are best to ourselves. Thank you and Mabuhay. The 
Honourable Speaker, Mr. Indonesia Junior, World Scout Parliamentary Union President Kim Chong Ho, Secretary General Jack Orion, Monsignor Geoglasius Niguez, Majority Leader the Honourable Rodolfo Albano, Acting Minority Leader the Honourable Edsel Adman, the President of the Philippine Scout Parliamentary Association, the Honorable Raul Delma. Honored participants to the second general. I was given the pleasant task of introducing to you today Thank you. 